This is Talk Floor TV. Lumini is with us this morning. He is the industry's troubleshooter. He has LGM and Associate Technical Flooring Services. Lou, how are you? I'm good, Dave. How are you? I'm great. It's always great having you with us. And it's always time. great being here. Now, Lou <laughs> comes on and he shares with us some of the problems he's called out on in the field. Some of them are really strange, I have to say that. And this, this appears like a very strange one. Most of them are strange. VCT, which was moving after it was installed, but that was because other tradesmen came in mm -hmm. and set up shop mm -hmm. on, on top of this before, I guess at a time when nobody should even be walking on it, and these guys are working on it. Right, and they're blaming the flooring installer. Because his tile's moving. Well, it's always somebody else. Right? Well, it's always the flooring guy. Yeah. Um, exactly as you said. They were installing the, the vinyl tile, and you can't put traffic on it right away. You need to keep it off. It's like, um, it's as if you were putting, you know, an Oreo cookie together, and you don't, you know, if you, if you start messing with one side of the, or the other of the chocolate half, it's going to slide away until you get a firm set there. Same with the vinyl tile. You put your adhesive down, you prep your floor, you get everything right, you put your adhesive down and you install your tiles and you're putting them in as you're walking out. You know, you're, you're, it's like you're painting the floor, you're starting at the furthest area and you're walking out and you don't put traffic on them because you know that if you step on them, the adhesive hasn't set up yet and they're gonna start sliding around. You know those, I don't know what you call those things that you play with that you can move the letters around on those Boards, you're totally blanking out on me. You're absolutely... This is actually a real thing, Dave. It's not something I'm making up. I don't remember what it is. I remember it was that when I was younger. And you're older than I am. So apparently they didn't have these where you live. It's okay, Dave. We'll rocks. just use it. We'll, <laughs> we'll use a different example. I know, you're glazing over on me. So and I, Okay, so now we've got... <laughs> We've got the vinyl. It was all those drugs when you were younger. See, this, they're finally starting to catch up with you. <laughs> oh, we're in trouble now. <laughs> Anyhow, I didn't take you're those drugs. Trouble. I didn't take the drugs. <laughs> you're, you're in trouble, Lou. Anyway, I didn't have to take the drugs, as you can I, see. I, I, I'm, I'm like this without any drugs I'm whatsoever. About the little words that you're talking about. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I can't remember it, but it's... You, you spelled it's on it. Scrabble. No, it wasn't Scrabble. I don't remember. They had like white. Maybe one of our viewers will know what I'm talking call about. In. Call in if you remember these things. If you're old enough to remember these, that they were these little things that looked like you know, oh, well the I size know. of an iPad. A little, a, a little square, and you would move the things around and spell stuff. Yeah, I, I don't know what you call them. But I don't either. You remember them now? The, you're out from under the ether, and you actually have been visualized. Well, it these. wasn't like it was explained. <laughs> I, I, mean, let me I, I even forgot what we were talking about yeah, now. I so, <laughs> I mean, are we talking about floor covering or these little things? We're no. talking about VCT, <laughs> VCT moving. Movie. Yes, we are. Anyhow, the VCT, when you vinyl composition tile, that you, like you see in a grocery store or any retail establishment, you put this down and if you have to let the adhesive set up. If you don't, the tile is going to slide. Well, what was happening is that these guys would move out of a room and other trades would come into the room, set their ladders up, move things around, be working, you know, doing work on a ceiling, using the floor as, a, as their base, which often happens in these big commercial installations where, you know, so you're working. So pressure to... Uh, and and, and so what happened is you had these gaps the, that got... Your tile moved. It's not going to move that far, but it's going to move enough that you're going to have these gaps in it. And they slide. So once it sets up, now you've got them stuck in place. Yeah. So who are they going to go to but the flooring guy saying, you know, you created this problem, so you need to fix it. When in fact, he's saying, hey. It was fine when I left. It was fine when I left. We finished. These guys moved things in. Now, if they were going to do that and they needed to get into that room right away, they should have put down masonite or some type of, uh, uh, you know, quarter-inch plywood, something so that they could have worked on that surface without disturbing the flooring. I suspect that happens more often. Well, yeah, yeah, that. yeah. Especially in the bigger cities. Uh, you get into New York City, especially Boston. New York City, especially. We do a lot of work in New York City. It is a world unto itself. Other than the fact that New York City is a world unto itself, working there 
when you're, you know, we've done a lot of projects <clears throat> there in the last few years and, and do a lot of projects there. And it's like they're putting the floor covering down and the guys are right, I mean, they are with, they were at, they're almost on your back putting the covering down so that other trades can work. They're putting craft paper, fortunately, it's not the plastic that's got the sticky stuff on it, which you shouldn't be using at all. And then they're putting masonite down on top of that. So it's like, you know, they're right on top of each other. And, you know, it, it's, it's amazing to see it. And yet, and, and the work gets done. It's, it's, uh, and this one, is this still, still pending, this uh, VCT situation? I believe so, yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, it will remain to be seen how this exactly will be. Yeah, I mean, he, what he's going to need is he's going to need, and I, we may have sent him this already, he's going to need some type of, documentation that says Somebody came in yeah you you can't that look here it is when you're installing this stuff you need to stay off of it and if you don't stay off of it here's what's going to happen and if that happens it's the people who came in and worked on it it's not the flooring contractor's yeah. fault because he just put it down and did what he was supposed to do he wasn't you know he didn't tell these guys to go in he didn't say it was all right they just went yeah. Yeah. so well, it's yeah. not his fault He's going to get blamed, but now he's got to defend himself. Right here, yeah. Thanks a lot, Lou. You're welcome, Dave. My pleasure. We've been talking with Lou Migliori. He is the industry's troubleshooter. He heads LGM and Associates Technical Flooring Services. This is Talk Floor TV.